welcome back to Crochet Objet Knitting. If you're new here, my name is Mo. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the first center part on my chamomile flower. It's part of a chamomile and sage pattern available in my Etsy shop. I will leave a link to the pattern down below in the description box for you. And today we are going to make the center uh, part of the flower, of the chamomile flower, which is actually the pollen pad. Before we jump into the making, just a note about me. I'm a left-handed crocheter and a right-handed knitter, and I'm teaching for years mainly right-handed people, and what I learned during my teaching years is that our brain knows how to shift from left to right and vice versa. So if you are a right-handed, please stay to learn with me and see how we create uh, the first part on my chamomile flower. For this demonstration, I am going to use a 2.5 millimeter hook and the same uh, yarn that I used in my original pattern. This is a Tibetan cloud yarn from Mayak Fibers. It's a light decay sport weight yarn, which is parallel to my granny kit cotton yarn. And we will need also a stitch marker, removable stitch marker, and then just a safety pin uh, for the last part of, for the, of this tutorial. We are going to start to make the first part, the pollen pad of the small chamomile flower. And once you learn the principle, it will make it easier for you to make the other sizes of the flower. So usually I start by making a magic loop and this is my way to make a magic loop. I create a circle while the short yarn tail is underneath the running yarn. And I want to catch this point with these two fingers. I want to insert my hook into the center of the loop, grab the yarn and go back, make a chain, and now I have a center circle to work to and I'm ready to start. But if you don't feel comfortable enough with a magic loop, you can start with just chain two and let's see how I do it. I take the short tail, make a circle this time the short tail is on top of the running yarn. I create a line in the center of this circle and then I want to grab the yarn, insert my hook underneath the center yarn and pull it up. Chain two and then I want to make the first round into this first chain stitch and I want to use it as if it's the center of uh, the center of my first circle. So now we are ready to start and make round one. And I want to make six single crochet into the center of the loop. So I insert my hook into the center of the first chain stitch, grab the yarn and go back. And this is my first single crochet two, three, four, five, and six. And you can see that the center loop got bigger. I want to take the short tail, give it a tug, and tighten this loop because on the chamomile flower, I don't want to see to leave a hole in the center of the work. We just created this circle. Now I will continue to work spiral. So I will mark with a removable stitch marker, I will mark the first stitch in each round. And usually I also work over the short yarn tail so I don't have to weave it in later. I will show you how I do it. Um, so now I just want to make sure I have six stitches to work with. So I go from the hook backwards and I count these V stitches. Each of, of them is one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the first stitch I want to go 
and to start my second round with. So I insert my hook into the first stitch, put the yarn tail on top of my hook and work over it. So one and two. I want to make two single crochet in each stitch. And now I want to mark the first one I made. So it's not the one close to the hook, it's the one before. And now I'm going to make two single crochet in each of the next stitches till I create 12 stitches around. I had six in my first in the first round and now on the second round we are going to have 12 stitches around. And I work over the short yarn tail all the way around. Yeah, and the stitch marker fell off, but it's on time because I just finished my round and I do have 12 stitches around. On the next two rounds, I want to single crochet around. So I will not increase or decrease the number of the stitches. So if I have 12 stitches, I will continue. I will keep my work with 12 stitches. At this point, I can just leave the tail behind and I don't need to work over it more. And now I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch and make a single crochet. I want to mark the first stitch and go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around. And at this point you will see your work starts to curl towards the center and that's totally fine. We are creating a three-dimensional flower. But once I finish this round, I want to turn it inside out and to see the right side of the stitches facing me it will make it easier for me to crochet the next rounds now i want to make another round of single crochet around so this is the first stitch put my marker back all the way around i want to make a single crochet in each and every stitch around. And now I have finished round four. In round five we are going to single crochet in each stitch around but to front loops only. Let's mo remove our stitch marker and let me show you what is the front loop only. So each stitch has uh, two loops. This is the front loop and this is the back loop. And I want to single crochet around but only to front loop of each stitch around. So I insert my hook into the front loop only and make a single crochet. I want to mark the first stitch so I don't get lost and go ahead and single crochet in each stitch around into FLO front loop only yeah and this was my fifth round on round six I want to single crochet around in each stitch but I want to insert my hook just regularly under both loops so I insert my hook under both loops 
make a single crochet mark the first stitch as we work spiral in this pollen pad this is two and three and just single crochet around just in the regular way and this is it I finished round six now I want to pull up this loop this is the last this was the last round for this part I want to take this safety pin put on the loop I will need to go back to it later and now I want to remove the stitch marker and to turn my work and I want to see the wrong side of the stitches facing me and because I worked on my over the yarn tail I can just cut it now and this was the first part of the pollen pad on the next part we are going to use these back loops left on round five if you remember on round on round five we made single crochet to front loop only so we have one loop left free and unused on the second part we are going to attach the new yarn the, the petal uh, color we choose and now attach it to one of the loops around and start create the petals around and then on the next part after we finish crochet the petals around using each and every back loop that left we will be going back to the live stitch we will take the safety pin out and insert the hook and we will continue to work around here from the inside towards the outside just to create the back side of the flower and to finish it uh, beautifully so if you want to attach a brush pin to it or whatever you want to make with it it will have a nice flat um, back to work with and yes so this is it this was my tutorial to show you how to crochet the pollen pad the first part on my chamomile flower the chamomile and sage pattern is um, a crochet pattern available in my etsy shop i will leave a link to the pattern down below in the description box for you thank you so much for watching this video with me and learning with me um, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and i will see you on my next one bye Thank you.